Hi, welcome to Soul Flex in the studio. These are the Christmas stories. Um, we have a guest with us today. Um, He's a classic. He is a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Is classic. You see my shirt? You see my shirt, y'all? Am I on TV? Is that machine running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. 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 This would be. Um, oh my goodness. I, yeah, <laughs> Joe, Joe Exotic, I guess. Is that, is that no, I'm Mud Dover. Mud Dover. Mud Dover. Mud Dover. Yeah, I'm running off of Bonneville on uh, you know H50, <laughs> down there where the Gator Boys are. <laughs> That's where I'm from. <laughs> and so, so Richard can't sure be with it's us not today. The other side of 50, where like the Nightmare Before Christmas. That is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that's Bithlo. Bithlo. <laughs> So apparently we're back to talk about uh, well, Christmas things. For all people, I didn't really mean that. Because <laughs> i got to go back to the trailer tonight. <laughs> as long as he gets back after dark. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Um, but, uh, what are we talking about? Today, we have no idea yet. Today, uh, well, we want to hear your stories of your the most strangest Christmas gift you were ever given. And maybe it's fitting that, that you know, Mud Dauber's with us today. Uh, the strangest Christmas gift you ever were given that you can talk about um, that, you know, that you don't mind having people hear about. Two years ago, Leanne gave me poopery. <laughs> poopery? Stuff works, man. It does. Stuff works. It's poopery. a godsend. Yeah. You spray before you go, and then you don't smell it. It was really a gift for the whole house. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Called poopery. 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 <laughs> we have some over in Area 51. Really? You should try it. <laughs> I will. If I ever get that's over a, there. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Of course, we don't have indoor plumbing where I live, so. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. It, 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 it's it, pretty much wide it, open. And so. it didn't take many episodes, and poop came right back, right? Exactly. You know, so, yeah, there you go. Exactly. So. All right. Is that the strangest? Well, I can't think of a strange one. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Well, if you want to know a strange kind of gift I had one time, uh, I went to, you know, Colonial High School. And uh, back back in the day. Back, yeah, yeah, back when it was way out to the Cocoa Beach uh, water plant. You know, everybody went to Colonial High School. Well, there, I had a class ring. I did graduate from there. I did have a class ring. And somehow, some way, I misplaced my class ring. And my parents were upset about it. I was upset about it. I couldn't get a girlfriend because I couldn't give her a ring or nothing. So, and that would be the reason he couldn't get a girlfriend. That's exactly that's why. Yeah. Okay. That's my okay. story, yeah, and I'm sticking okay. to it. Okay. 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 Right. So, we're having Christmas. We go around the room because we do it proper where I'm from. Everybody opens one gift at a time. It's in this. Oh, Christmas is over in five minutes. All right. It took us all. All month to get there, we're going to make this last. So I open up my gift, and doggone it, there's a ring in there in my present that's exactly like my ring I had before. And I went, I started to weep oh. openly right in front of my parents. And I said, What? How did you get this new ring? And she says, That's not a new ring. <laughs> Cheap like I found this. I found this ring in the wash. Oh, <laughs> man. And she wrapped it up uh, and she put it under the tree. But that stuff. was one of the best presents I got that whole Christmas. How long did she hold it? She held it for like a, a few couple of months. <laughs> and I just thought it was a cheap well, way out. She had what? My parents kids? says you ain't worth getting a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so I was out. So then it, you didn't cry anymore. It was a Christmas miracle. So, so she, it wasn't new. she held it to surprise you and also teach you a lesson about losing All it? All in one thing. Yeah. And, wow. And, and Brilliant, it, I tell you. In those two months, were you, were you, were you I was sad. whining and sad I, and my, crying? My, my, I looked at my finger. There was nothing on it. <laughs> I just, you know, I was depressed. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then a Christmas miracle happened on Christmas morning. Man. Mm. True story. True. <laughs> and how did it get in the wash? I don't know. I guess I put it in a po my pocket or something one night. <laughs> so you went or doing the laundry. It fell off. Yeah, I don't know. How Are you I washing your hands in the washer at your house? As a kid, you stick your hands in the washer in one tub. That's what the toilet's well, for. <laughs> we, just, we just had one of them, you know, scrubber boards. Scrubber boards. <laughs> <Scrubber board. laughs> the rest of it came off. Uh, gotcha. Right. It's called a washboard. A washboard. A washboard. Scrubber, scrubber board. board. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Right. I don't think I ever told that. <laughs> 
I think he is. Have you heard that? Have you heard that before? Have you heard that before? We'll, we'll, we'll let folks watch and decide if they've heard that before, but yeah. And what did you come up with yourself, sir? You know, I... I I, I tend to like my, I mean, I like the gifts that I get. I mean, I, you know, I, I so it's strange, strange, strange is one of those, strange, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, strange to have a lot of meanings to it, but I do, there's one that was odd that we, that we did laugh a lot and, um, and the parties involved are no longer with us. So, um, I can tell this story, but I mean, I, when I was a kid, I took guitar lessons. I mean, that was, that was what? this when I played. You're yeah. kidding. No, I, said, no, I knew that. Yeah, Michael knew that, and that's why I've never appeared in the No Name Band. Uh, Michael, <laughs> Michael knows that, we're, and he knows I that. Do not, we're going to remedy that. One of these days, Jeff is going to play in the No Name Band. Streeps. They you did? Oh, yes. Oh, I got my clarinet I, at Streeps. I didn't go to Streeps. I went to Bell's can, music on Ezra Drive. Oh, the Bell's. We could form a staff band right here. We could. Clarinet, well, guitar, Bell's, is a little, it, Bell's music is now a little nightclub on Ezra Drive. Uh, yeah. You know, so it, I quit. It, 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 <laughs> I, I did too. Um, I quit. My I, instructor was a drug dealer. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> sounded like he was always talking about marijuana and stuff. My, my, Bob Harley. My, 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 my guitar instructor. Um, his, his last name. His last name was Thurston. His last name was Thurston. Thurston, and he played though on the Grand Ole Opry. Howard. Nice. No, no. <laughs> he played on the Grand Ole Opry. Wow. Really? Oh, yeah, I mean, he was skills. a talented guy. I mean, he was he was well, great. Why was I he mean, messing around with you? For? I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea. I gotta fix something. Howell, Thurston Howell. Oh, Howell. Oh, yeah. Howell. 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 Yeah, I, it's okay. Dwight Howard. Howell. Yeah, you're right. Um, I stand corrected. You're messing with me. I stand corrected. Well, yeah, Bob Marley. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Yeah. So, go, so, your so I was taking guitar <laughs> lessons at the time, right? So I, had, I, was, I was playing the guitar. I was trying to learn how to play the guitar. I was practicing guitar. Yeah. And I had, I had an aunt um, that um, was very, I guess, kind of out of touch with, you know, the family, like she needed to be or whatever. Yeah. Um, so, and we, I was significantly older, but what I got as a gift, and I unwrapped it in front of my cousins at a family event, was a little miniature plastic toy guitar. <laughs> <laughs> toy guitar. She wrapped this up for you? It was a gift, it was a brand new, it was, it was, it was, a, a, it was like- an honest gift. And it was an honest gift, which of course, you know, and, you, and anytime you're on the spot to receive something like that, you know, with all your cousins, yeah. who know what you do, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it becomes this, you know. Play us a song, Jeff. Tackle fest, right? I mean, it's just, it's because again, it, it is nothing, it is, it is a toy. Did guitar. it have the little thing that you, well, it, I don't even no, it did. Did it play it itself? You still got it? Because I needed something for my ministry. So I yeah, that, 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 it'd be exactly what we would need on that. <laughs> right but anyway, so it's, so through the years, though, it did, we didn't get rid of it. We kept passing, yeah. passing around. around. One oh. year, I remember that I cut out a, a picture of my cousin Tim and oh. put it in a little circle of it and wrapped it up and gave it to him uh, at the same family event. And so, nice. uh, so th and that probably was the strangest gift. Just, be, I mean, the intent was great. Uh, you know, the intent was great. It was a gift and it was nice. Um, just a very misplaced timing on the gift or whatever. Mm. That, and, and everybody, I think, knew it but, but her, which, you know, tended to be par for the course, I guess. Wow. Yeah, that was strange. Hmm. What'd you get? Um, I think the strangest gift I got was probably from my grandmother, but she lived out of state, <clears throat> and so we would get our presents mailed to us, <clears throat> and we weren't allowed to open them. But <laughs> my family is much smaller, I guess, than some of my other family, so when my grandmother would buy me clothes, they were always like four sizes too big. So you would open them and then never, ever, there was a pair of jeans that I held on to for all the way through college, and I never grew into them. <laughs> but she sent me, I think, as a junior higher. I'm like, well, I'm not that size. When you were in junior high, you were a stick. Yes, I was like a size zero, <laughs> which was very hard to find. So, and well, she you, sent you me like still. a nine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still that a thing zero. Twice. Is that what you're saying? I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> the so, mud dauber has yes. spoken. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So that was. You always wanted to get excited, but then when you would open it, and it was nothing you could ever wear because it was. So that pair of pants was the strangest. Yeah, I know, yeah. and they were cool because they were like in the day when Wranglers were kind of cool, and they were soft, almost like a velour jean, but not. I mean, they were very a cool. Brush jean. Yeah, and I really wanted to wear them, and I never. Why do you know that? <laughs> Because he is the I fashion. Know, uh, <laughs> you are eclectic, man. I'm classic. I'm classic. <laughs> he's got. The, he's the classic holiday guy. Yeah, was, he knows yes, his stuff. back in junior okay. high. So, and it was junior high, not middle school back then. Okay, I just thought of something. Oh. What? I got a real strange gift from you two. <laughs> what? Last year, I got a strange gift from you two. <laughs> oh, the, 
<laughs> They're going to see a pattern here. I give you I got, three. And I got the buck neck in underwear <laughs> from these two. <laughs> That's what you wanted. That you was for that. He was very specific. I was specific, that. man. I appreciate you it. You said it was too expensive it to was, buy yourself. It was a little awkward, but. <laughs> <laughs> Only when we made you try it on. Yeah. <laughs> so out in the parking lot. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I no, want to no. make sure it fits. Did, didn't he get, like, boxers one year? Yes, he did. Sure, he did. You got all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, you got those. We didn't give those to you. I got the flash boxers. Yes, you did. In front of the whole church, right? In front of the whole church. Yeah. Well, you yeah. held them up to the whole church. I don't think you were giving you didn't them. Wear no, I, I, I just held them right. Yeah, here. Here, yeah. that's good enough. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. So, <laughs> yeah, people give me strange gifts. Well, no doubt. Any other strange it. gifts on the platter? I'm coming. No, I'm thinking of Richard's gifts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he more. oh, I also gave you a Clarice. There you oh, go. Look at that. Oh, Actually, that's I, thought that that was, was, I thought Cal Cal Clarice was going to come up later. <laughs> probably, well, she probably will. will. She probably will. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Clarice, if you're looking out there. <laughs> well, <laughs> he looked good on his wall. <laughs> yeah. My double. Just your head, though. Oh, <laughs> man. Just, yeah. We are, we, well, that's when we're done. Uh, hopefully, there is a strange gift that you've gotten that sticks out in your mind somewhere. But the greatest gift you've given, of course, would be Jesus. Yes. And that's why we celebrate the season. Hopefully, you're having a great time during the holiday season. Uh, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. We look forward to joining you next time as we tell more stories of Christmas on Christmas Stories.